Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFP TV Shot Show Industry Day at the Range 2024. I'm here with Michael from Olympus Arms. You guys may remember him from last year because you had a rifle that made a big crash. That's Vulcan. Tell us all about what's the big feature this thing has. Absolutely. So we are recoilless 308 rifle. So recoilless AR-10, 308 Winchester. Uh, the barrel reciprocates the full length of the action, five and a quarter inches and it turns the entire rifle into a shock absorber for recoil. Instead of a sharp recoil graph that goes straight up and down, it's just a slow push. Both eyes up and during the shot, you don't have to reacquire the target. It makes you 10 times more effective at shooting. We call it successive shot accuracy. Every shot goes exactly where you want it and you watch it hit the target. Yeah, I actually was really impressed. You surprised me, you came and grabbed me. I remember I was like, ah, this guy's full of shit. Yeah, right, exactly. And it, it really does work. It's a, a really neat feature. You've got two models I see on display here. Are these the same thing in different colors? Or? Yes, absolutely. So now we have a pistol version, a short barreled rifle version. Uh, we have it in a bench configuration like you see here with a large scope and a bipod. We have a shoulder fired version that you would use uh, with a, let's say a red dot sight or, or something that's reflexive. Uh, but we just have all these different configurations. You can set it up however you want. Uh, new this year, this is kind of a surprise, but we have chambered one of our rifles in 277 Fury and cycled it semi-automatically. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank you. As far as I know, we're the only other company besides SIG in the world doing that right now. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So why would I say pick this up versus an AR-10? Well, I'll tell you what. If you want to take your shooting to the next level, this is how you do it. No matter how good you are at recoil management, you are always dealing with recoil. If I don't have to deal with recoil, then I can focus on everything else. I can focus on my point of aim. I can focus on my stability. I can focus on rapid engagement of targets. And if I don't have to worry about recoil, I just became that much more effective. Looks like an AR-10 isn't an AR-10. What's the parts compatibility? The None. The only parts that are compatible are the AR Furniture parts in the lower, we did that very intentionally, but everything in the upper is completely proprietary. There's six different patent groups inside of this rifle right now. It's all next gen tech. Looks like a totally monolithic upper. It is actually two parts. So the, t the upper comes apart. See that split right there? It's yeah, just barely. It slides apart like halves of a pistol. Uh -huh. So then I get access to everything on the inside. It, can you give me a demo of that? or something? Yeah, But at the booth, I absolutely can. Oh, okay. All right, You'll yeah, we'll get it booth, from you at the, the booth. Full demo. You can change the barrel on this. I've done it in 37 seconds. I've changed the barrel on this. Can I change calibers with this? Absolutely. Gun? You can change calibers. So right now, you could change to anything in the 308 cartridge family without changing the bolt. We're also going to make different bolts so you can change the bolt. We're going to make it to where you could shoot pistol ammo out of this rifle. So this one, technically, I'm thinking if I have the barrel, I could do 308, 65 Creedmoor, and 277. Yep, we're, we're working on a 375 Raptor, uh, just a whole bunch of different calibers, including the 277, right? But you just have to make sure that the barrel weight is correct and, we, and the break is correct for the caliber that you're shooting. I worry when I see a moving barrel about accuracy and loss at zero. Is right. that a, a, a real consideration? You know, it's a consideration, but it's not a concern. So here's the deal. When a shooter shoots a fixed barrel rifle, the shooter actually moves before the bullet gets out of the barrel. Okay, because recoil acts on the rifle and the shooter. So it actually pulls them off target just slightly. And this one, the shooter stays still, the receiver stays still, and the barrel reciprocates straight back to the line. So your accuracy is actually better with a moving barrel than it is with a fixed barrel. Also, when we return to zero, we have a conical interface. So it always goes back to the same exact spot and returns to zero. We average, we are planning on two MOA. We're averaging between one and one and a half with standard ammo. Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty impressive for something that's functionally like a service slash duty rifle. Absolutely. How much are these gonna cost and when are they available? Yep, so they're available right away. The MSRP on these is $67.95. We're competing with the SR25, with the Sig Spear. We have the best technology out of any rifle in the world right now, and it is very low. If you look at the outside, it is deceptive how simple it is on the outside, and on the inside, it's all new tech. Michael, thank you so much for giving thanks, us the great. rundown thanks and the so update much. on the Vulcan. You guys made a big splash at the show last year. I hope you have a great show this year. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you more from SHOT Show 2024.